cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. That's what Martin said in the dark. He didn't say that when everything was fine. He said that when it was dark. But he said, I'm not going to let the dark have the last shine. Have the last word. I'm going to shine. Another, 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 Plato said it like this. We can easily, listen now, we can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. But the real tragedy of life is when grown adults are afraid of the light. That's a tragedy. When you're afraid of the light. Owning our story can be hard. I'm speaking to some of you in Greenleaf and over the line that, that, that you need, before you die, you need to own your story somewhere in public. Listen to me. Owning your story can be hard but not as difficult as spending your whole life running from it. Huh? See, that's why I had at one point to get honest publicly about being sexually abused. Yeah, twice. I had to deal with that because, because owning your story you know, may be hard, but you know it's a crazy hard life to just run from it all the time. Huh? And then listen to what he said. He said, embracing our vulnerabilities is risky but not merely as dangerous as giving up on love and giving up on belonging and giving up on joy. But all of those experiences in order to have them requires vulnerability. You will never know love, really. You will never know joy, really. You will never know uh, 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 belonging, really, until you're vulnerable. Even Jesus had to be vulnerable. That's the cross. Uh, and then the writer said, only, listen, only when we are brave enough to explore the darkness that has tried to cover us will we discover the infinite power of the light in us. 